The 2023 Indoor Championship is back again, and I wanted to go over three races that will have you on the edge of your seat. These are the races that's going to be highly competitive, and we might get a collegiate record from each of them. Okay, let's jump right into it. And first, it's going to be the women's 200 meter, and it's going to be Fabio Fili versus Julian Alfred. Julian Alfred is already the favorite in the 60 meters, but in the 200, she'll have to see Fabio Fili. Julian Alfred has ran 22-33 in the 200 so far, which is very impressive. He's number one in the NCAA. But Fabio Fili is right behind her with 22-36. Julian Alfred is a great starter and she'll probably get out on Fabio Fili. But Fabio Fili can run a great bend. Look, I'm not going to be biased in the whole thing. I went to LSU. Fabio Fili goes to LSU. Keep an open mind about who can win. Oh wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Nah, but in all seriousness though, I do think Fabio Fili will come out on top. I think she's a great finisher. Julian Alfred will get a start on her, but I feel like Fabio is going to come around the bend and finish great and be the champion. The race is going to be against the Jamaican Akira Nugent and Masai Russell, the collegiate record holder in the 60 meter hurdle. Now, both of them have faced off three times overall in their past, and Akira Nugent actually has a 2 to 1 record. But Masai has been unbeaten this season. She has the collegiate record at 775, and she even beat Akira Nugent recently at SEC with 777. This is the hurdles. We all know anything can happen. But I think Masai will continue with this great streak that she's been on. She might even break her own collegiate record again. But one thing's for sure, I think she and Akira Nugent will push each other to great times. I think this race might be the hottest race of the whole track meet. And it's going to be the 200 meter men. Elijah Hall from Houston has the collegiate record at 20.02. No man has gone under 20 point indoors in the college men's system. Here's what makes the 200 men competitive. Four men has gone under 20.3. Only 16 men in the history of the NCAA has gone under 20.3. So when Courtney Lisley, Cameron Miller, Torres Arigat, Ja'Cory Patterson all dip under 20.3, you know it's going to be a special season. Will they go under 20 points? It's definitely possible. I don't know. But what's more important is who's going to win. This one, I can't even begin to guess, man. All of them are great competitors, but I'm gonna give it to Patterson from Florida. Cause I think being in the SEC, that makes you a competitor. And that's gonna make him go out there and go win. I see at least 20.1, 20.0 winning this race. If you made it to this point, thank you for watching all the way through. Let me know if you have any predictions for any of the races that I have that's different from mine. Is there any races that you think should be in the top three that I didn't mention? Just comment down below. And thank you for watching. I'll be releasing more videos, so stay tuned and keep locking in.